Hey guys, today's video is not a classic arc tutorial as you would expect it, but this video is about how you can use the website called Notion to organize your arc tribe. Notion is a management and organization tool that is used in private life every day, in university and even in many job situations. Disclaimer, this video here is not sponsored by Notion. I mean, I wish it was, but I just want to tell you about it because I use Notion for our tribe and it is a big help for us and maybe it is a help for you as well. But why is it interesting for tribes? First of all, it does have a basic account that is free and most of the time the free account is already enough for small and medium sized tribes. Second of all, you have the full creative freedom to organize yourself as you like. Notion offers some presets, it has like some modules to integrate on your site, but which ones you use is right up to you. You may ask yourself now why should a tribe be organized? There are many reasons why you should be. As soon as several people come together to work on something together, the right planning is important and efficient work can only happen like this. That way you always know what needs to be done what is done by others and you don't have to ask around and communicate several times about the same things and you probably already found yourself buried in excel sheets sticky notes and phone notifications and your dino baby starved anyway or the dino you wanted to tame woke up and ran away and you start feeling overwhelmed burned out because aside from playing you also need to keep all these thousand things in the back of your head and this is why you want to organize yourself and sometimes you even have fights in your tribe because it's not really clear who does which task, who's responsible for which job, things don't get done and people fight over the same task. Maybe your tribe mates are in another time zone and you hardly talk to them. All those scenarios are already happening in tribes today. While Notion can't fix every problem your tribe has, it can at least fix some. We started using Trello lists to organize our boss fights in our tribe. Trello is a tool where you can make an advanced to-do list for cooperative work. We put all the things that had to be done for the boss fight into Trello and then we claimed the task we wanted to do and kept each other up to date how far we got. And I'm not gonna lie if I tell you that that was the most relaxed and smoothest boss fight we ever had because we were so good prepared. After the boss fight we didn't use Trello that much anymore because there's only so much you can do with a to-do list tool. But then Notion appeared on my radar. And I started setting up our workspace and this is how the pages on Notion are called, um, workspace, um, for our tribe. So we have servers on official and unofficial that we need to refresh, where we need to feed animals and where we have to refill generators and so on and so on. Those are all the tasks that are ongoing. And usually that was a task that needed a lot of sticky notes and font reminders from my tribe mates and me so we would not forget to do things. Now I created a little wiki for our tribe and we have this little wiki that is divided in official and unofficial and I put in calendars that show when we reset at last, when we reset the next time and we even get reminders pushed to our phone so we do not forget about it and this is super handy. We even have an info section that tells us on which servers we are because I am constantly forgetting the server numbers on official. It's just, I just can't keep them. <laughs> I always had to ask and now I can just look it up, which is super handy for me. I can also now see if my tribe mate maybe doesn't have time to do something so I can do it for him and just leave him a little note, be like, okay, I did it for you, you don't have to do it. So we don't do things twice. That saves us time. If you want to start Notion, you need to create your own Notion account. And for that, you just go to notion.so and you make your own account with an existing Google account, for example, or if you don't have a Google account, just use your mail address. But be sure to choose the free personal account option. And that is the one that is usually enough for a small or medium sized tribe. You can invite up to five people. If you need more people, then you just need to choose the next higher paid option, which is not very expensive, but then you have unlimited guests you can invite to your workspace. You can use Notion either in your browser, which is super handy if you're on the run and you don't have the program installed, but you also have dedicated apps for Windows and for Mac, and you even have mobile apps for iOS and for Android. So no matter where you are, you have access to your Notion. And this is super handy. And if you have it on your phone, you also get push notifications for your reminders that you set up. I personally use the PC app and the smartphone app myself and I set up an example workspace on my Notion to show you how it could look for your tribe and what's possible for a small tribe. And here we are. Welcome to the Notion workspace of the Arctribe, the Unicorn Poopers. 
this is a fictional archetype, so don't try to look them up. And if that's the name of your archetype, I'm sorry, you're an example now. So this is the start page of the archetype, the unicorn poopers. And as you can see, there are like a few things on here um, that I'm going to explain to you. These are all like different widgets. I'm going to explain to you what they are in detail. First of all, we have a banner here. We have an icon that we can choose ourselves. Then this is the title, which is also shown on the left side. And yeah, here's a little motivational message. You are amazing. So if the tribe members look on the side, they get reminded that they are amazing for doing all the hard work in the tribe. Like I told you before, I have a little widget here that shows server numbers. Those are of course not real server numbers, but yeah, it shows server numbers. So the tribe members can always look up when in doubt, which is the right server they need to go to. On this side, you can see is a little widget where it shows the top stats of the animals that are bred by the breeders. And here you can see Therese, Rexes, Snowballs, and of course Dodos, but Dodos don't need top stats because Dodos are always amazing. So this is like a little information area where you can see like immediately important things. And the next thing we see is a table and this is the table of the tribe members. You can make your own table of tribe members. So you always know who's in the tribe. You can see what's their role in the tribe. I made this little, this little role column and I also made this time zone column. So you can see in which time zone are they in. You can put text in here so you can apply a time zone to everyone. So hey, I have on one, on one look, you can always see where is somebody from, where can I expect him to be online? Uh, when do I know he's probably sleeping? <laughs> So this is very handy having like a little overview like this. The next are some screenshots for the tribe to memorize and to keep in mind uh, cute screenshots like this Ferox and this Bob Ross Jaboa. Um, and this is like an important part. This is a master task list. This is how it's called. It's a master task list. And it's called like this because it has all the tasks that the tribe will have to do in it. And let me unclick these because that makes explaining later a little bit easier. And here's like a boss fight area that I'm going to show you later. So you would think, oh yeah, that's actually quite handy. But um, what is the difference to like other solutions? And I'm going to show you because the big strength of Notion is that you can have more in-depth structures of sites. It's like a website, basically. It's like a wiki, like a website. So you can go here and click on the name and you see a, a page open. That's the page of crazy dude. And here's a link to another page here. You can see his contact infos. There's like a, I'm not sure how exactly it is called, but, um, you can hide the contact infos and you can show them. Those are by the way, fake. So no need to contact anyone here. But you can, you can do like um, drop down menus like this. This is part of the markdown that Notion offers. So you can go on his site and this site, he organizes himself. Every tribe member can have their own personal site. They organize the way they want it. So you can see crazy dude here has like his own to-do list and he has two task lists here that are based on the big main task list that is shown down here. But you can see on his side, let's go back. You can see on his side that it only shows the ones that he is responsible for. He has his task list here and he has one just for boss preparation. And to make this is super easy. You just go to the main list and you go down here. You copy the link here. I'll show you this now on, on a, on a new page. You create a link database and that will implement your database as a copy in your page, wherever, or pretty much wherever you want. The good thing about it is now that you can filter and sort it the way you want, and it will not change your main database that you already have. And that's the way how I did it in here. 
So I can show you here. It only shows his tasks and I did it by filtering. So if I go on filter, there are two rules in this filter. First of all, um, if the who, so the text here, contains tamer or farmer, then it should be shown because those are his tags. And I want to hide everything that also contains boss because I want to have an extra list for the boss. And if I go down here and go to filter, it's the same. Show everything that is farmer or tamer, but also it also needs to be boss. So it shows here it shows farmer tamer without boss. Here it shows farmer tamer with boss. And another thing you can do is sorting rules. So Crazy Dude likes his sorting to be set up this way. If he clicks a point, he wants it to be at the bottom of the list. So he always has the newest points on top, the newest task he needs to do. Especially when you have longer lists, you really don't want to have open tasks being like idle somewhere at the bottom. So he set, up, he set it up this way um, because it's nicer for him and you can set it up the way you want and your tribe members can set it up the way you want. Um, I, can, I can now show you the side of Angel which is our breeder and Angel has her very own site. Angel uh, made herself an own database which is for her babies. She has the name of her babies in here. She also has the date when they were born and she also puts a timer in here when they need their imprint. And one thing she did that was very smart, she made a reminder. So she can put in when they need the imprint and they sh then she can say here, remind me please five minutes before. And then she gets a push notification on her phone if she has the app installed, of course, but then she gets a push notification on her phone so she can actually see when she has to do her stuff. So she has her dodos and she has a giga that she already regrets that she hatched it. I mean, I can relate. And that's her personal own baby database. Then she has like a picture in here so you can also add pictures in, uh, in the page. You can also like move them around like you want. So I think I just copied it. Well, now we have two of them. <laughs> and down here are her tasks that she has to do that are imported from the master task list. And she set hers up quite different. She has all her tasks in one, even the boss ones, which you can see, but she has an additional rule that was not in Crazy Dude's one. And that is if the task is done, then hide it. And you can see it from here, she has to level boss animals and if she clicks it, it disappears. She has to get artifacts. If she clicks it, it disappears. That way she only sees the open tasks and she can just hide the done tasks because they are not important for her. Only the open ones are. And that way she organized her own list. And now to the next person. And the next person is Monty Bonty. And Monty Bonty is the builder of the tribe. And Monty is also the best, just in case you didn't know. And Monty, Monty was, uh, was so creative, he changed the font on his page. And let's put this here. He changed the font of his page and he, and his only task is to make a new breeding house for Angel's dodos. Because Angel, our breeder, really wants to breed dodos and she needs a dodo house for it. So this is his main task now and yeah, he collected some inspiration for the dodo house, which the first thing was an oval and he, he looked up the video of Captain Fat Dog, how to make, <clears throat> how to make an oval. He put it in this drop down list and then she, he asked her what she's looking for actually and her and her comment was, she needs space for 200 dodos. He's very, he's skeptical about it. Say it this way. Let's say it nicely. Um, she wants a separate room for the babies and she wants him to make it pretty. And he has no idea. He was like, whatever that means, whatever she means with that, that's the worst thing you can say to a builder. Make it pretty because that is like the most unprecise thing you can probably say. 
And the next drop down is the materials he needs. It's like stone, wood, cementing paste, crystal, and of course, no sleep for two days and energy drink. That is what he needs. He also made like a little link collection, put in like the oval, then how to build a dodo coop, and like a funny video, a thousand dodos versus arc dinosaurs. And he also implemented the task list that has the only task for the builder, which is making the breeding house. And he can click it when once he's done. And that way you can see every tribe member can organize their own tasks the way they want it. What you want to do is have like this master task list in order to keep all the different tasks together that need to be done by the tribe. So you can probably add like another one. Let's see. For example, here, feed the dodos done by the breeder. And um, this will then show up at the breeder. If we go to, whoop, angel. And scroll down, it automatically shows here as feed dodos. So that way they are linked together and she will always see her actual tasks she has to do. And there is like one more thing that I put in here and this is how we, for example, organize our boss fights. And we make like a list like this, which is like a to-do list. This is similar to how Trello does it, but you can do it like even better. You have like a to-do list, you have the working on it list. For example, if I say, I'm already doing, doing the boss dinos, I'll just put it here and say work, uh, I'm working on it. And you can also open these tasks like I do here with crafting saddles. You can open them and then you can do like a to-do list in here. And um, maybe also assign this to like a member. If you have set up like the different members, I cannot do it now because I'm the only member in here right now. Since this is like a fictional tribe, there are no additional members. So it's just me, but you can assign it to a member. And you can do like whatever you want. You can put in pictures in here. Um, yeah, you can just make it or you can organize it like as if it was a page since it is actually just a page. Yeah, that is that is like a little overview on how you could organize your tribe using Notion to make your own little tribe wiki to have like your little information central where everyone from your tribe can go to. Now back to the voice that does the outro. Thank you, fictional tribe organizer voice. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was my little notion guide on how you can organize your tribe. And of course you can do a lot more things. This was just a bloody beginner solution because I'm still a bloody beginner and I'm just using it for a few weeks myself. But even with beginner skills, you can improve your gameplay already that much because I feel it and you see how much I could already make without really having in-depth knowledge. Luckily for you, YouTube is stuffed with Notion tutorials where you can learn advanced techniques on how to make your Notion more useful for you and for your tribe. And I hope this little Notion tour helped you to get an idea about how to use the software. And for me, this is a tool that is a must have in my everyday gameplay life and even in my private life. I also use it every time I work with someone on a specific project and we have to coordinate with it. It's super, super handy. But how do you organize your tribe? Let me know in the comments. Do you even organize your tribe? Do you use other tools? Let me know. I'm very happy and looking forward to read your comments. Until then, I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.